guys, so, um, quick little story. Uh, I filmed my face paint makeup look thing, and I was going to try to edit it, and the whole thing got deleted. So instead, I'm going to do a very less cool video of my New Year's Eve hair. So, um, I've left this part out because I'm going to curl it. Um, but a lot of people have asked me how to learn to braid your own hair, and I'll tell you. Basically, I always had my grandma braid my hair every night before bed because some girl told me that if you braid your hair every night before you go to bed, it'll help it grow. And I was like, okay, like you have long hair, so I'll trust you because nothing I do seems to work. I've been trying to grow my hair out for years. Okay? I started having my grandma braid my hair every night before I went to bed. And it was all fun and games until I moved out. And I was like, shit. So I decided I was going to try to teach myself how to braid my own hair. And let me tell you, it did not work out very well. So I started kind of just practicing. Before I tell you this story, I should probably actually show you how to do this. This isn't a Dutch, or this is not a French braid. This is a Dutch braid where the braid's like thick, kind of like an inside out braid, I've heard them called. So you're going to separate your hair into three pieces. Alrighty, and then it's really about hand training. So I'm going to hold this piece like that, this piece like this, and then this piece in between these fingers. Okay, and it's super easy. All you're going to do is take the middle piece and put it in front of the side pieces. Um, so three sections, and then the middle goes over, and then the middle goes over. And before I start adding hair, I like to do two braids just with the beginning section that I have because I feel like it kind of starts it out better, and you can see. The braid faster so like you can see this little section of what we got going here um and i start adding hair and bef if i'm braiding my hair before i go to bed i just go straight back um but with the look i wanted to do I really want it to come like right behind my ears i'm going to start grabbing pieces that kind of frame my face it's also especially if you have layers a few small pieces and this hair, this braid style, I guess, is really good if you have layers because it's going this way, okay? Um, when you're bringing your hair into the center, you can have fallout pieces if you have shorter hairs. Um, so this braiding style is really good if you want to get all of your hair into the braids. I am not going to act like I am the best braider because I'm not at all, not even close. Back to the story about how I taught myself how to do this. Let me tell you first and foremost what you should not be doing. If you're first starting out, I highly recommend you don't look in a mirror. Because if you've ever braided someone else's hair, or if you've ever like seen people get their hair braided, the way they have their hands placed, or the way you have your hands placed when you're braiding someone else's hair, is not how you're going to place your hands doing your own. Basically, it's about teaching your hands how to work backwards. If you're looking in the mirror, it's going to be very confusing and very stressful. Basically, what I did is I watched a couple tutorials on hand placement. I focused more on completing the braid than how the braid looked. Every night before bed, I was like, I don't care how it looks, I don't care if there's pieces falling out, I'm just going to do it to where it's complete, and I would do one single French braid every night before I went to bed. And then after I kind of mastered a single French braid, I went on to like two French braids, and then after that, I started trying to teach myself one Dutch braid, and then after I taught myself one Dutch braid, I taught myself two Dutch braids. But it really is just practice, and the biggest thing is you have to learn to teach your hands to go really where you want them to be. And it's a lot of just backwards 
training, which can be a major pain in the ass. My hair is so thin. It is not even funny. This is reasons why I don't wear my braids outside of my apartment. I uh, don't know what happened to the intro, but there you go. But I have a big forehead. And the way I usually braid my hair, it's just all back and I look bald and weird. <laughs> don't do that. But I look, I'm old. Oh! And then I am going to braid. Or not braid, curl these pieces, but first I want to show y'all what the back looks like. There we go. Shazam. And curl these pieces that I left down just to make me look a little bit less bald. I've got blue face paint in my hair, by the way, if you're wondering why. As the little blue. I don't recommend using heated tools at all, ever, especially if you have curly hair. Um, I fried my hair really bad, like really, really bad, um, in my junior high and high school, and I had to chop it to like blow my ears. Keep in mind, this was like three months after I got it cut, just so you know. So, I don't do that anymore. So yeah, if you're going to use heated tools, always try to use a really good thermal protectant if you use heated tools. I didn't today because I don't own a thermal protectant because this is the first time I've put heat on my hair at all in about probably a year I want to say. The only reason I am right now is because of these little pieces. Usually when I do something like this I'll just wet my hair right here because I have naturally curly hair. Really. All my curls are kind of different they're not the same and for this look I really wanted like a uniform ringlet look same exact thing on this side and if you notice I'm curling away from my face some magazine or some Instagram chick or someone said that that's what you're supposed to do I'm not a cosmetologist or anything close. Um, you should also probably spray this with hairspray if your hair is naturally straight. Since my hair is naturally curly, I do not own hairspray. <laughs> I don't own hairspray. I don't own shampoo. I don't own a flat iron. This is the only curling iron that I have at all. I wanted to say something funny. I'm piercing this ear because it closed and I'm literally using a shooter because I don't have ice cubes. So I'm using a giraffe safety pin because, or a giraffe little pin because I don't have um, needles. Ghetto. Yes, they are sterilized. So I pierced and I got some gold hoops in. It is done. This is how it looks. I'm trying to like get up. You guys can see it on the wall, like with the girls and braids and everything. So that's how to braid your own hair. Hopefully it helps. Probably didn't because I suck, but yeah. New Year's Eve look. I tried taking selfies of this and I didn't show up, so I'm going to show you all now, but like look at this. I love it. The gold right here won't show up on my camera, other than videoing right now, so, on my camera, other than videoing right now, so, happy new year.